Hey, what's happening, fam? It's your boy Big Ron in the building. And today's video is not your average training sets, bro. So we got three different POVs of what I'm out there doing at the range right now. I wanted to get it to you guys completely raw so you know what it's actually like when you're going out there to train. It ain't all the fancy edits and all that stuff. So we're going to see how this one go for y'all. Y'all let me know in the comment section how y'all liking this one. But I must say, in today's video, I did forget my PPE, bro. I forgot to wear my eye protection in the video. Y'all go ahead and roast me down in the comment section, bro. I deserve it. You feel me? You can't be forgetting little stuff like that. And I did. So y'all roast me in the comment section for it. But in the very next video, I got something that I want you guys' opinion on. So y'all turn on your post notifications after you subscribe so you know when that video drops. All right, gang. So training says for today, I was doing some dry fire at home, and I noticed... That when I come off the hip and I point out my joint is a little turnt. So instead of it being straight on, it's turned a little bit. So the goal for today is to try to create the muscle memory to keep it straight. All while keeping a decent grip and being able to get on target. Now I'm gonna come off the hip from the holster a few times with weighted magazines. There isn't gonna be one up top, but I'm gonna have the magazines fully loaded just so I can have that weight. But yeah, I'm gonna come off the hip a couple times, make sure I'm on point, focusing on my grip, also my trigger preparedness, trigger preparation, however you say it. Like kinda like, go ahead and get that trigger prepped to the wall without pulling the trigger, getting the decent memory of where that wall is at all at the you know you, you, you get what i'm trying to say it's all training baby it's all training we going with the flush let's go on the hip let's go ahead and get this training started so you're gonna do it probably like 10 times you know real nice and slow you know what You gotta remember to come out with my finger on the trigger. So I learn to prep it. Decent. My sights were too high on that one. Okay. What's that, five? That's, it's completely different from doing this in your bathroom and doing it out here at the range, out in the open, where you would probably be in a situation to defend yourself. It's completely different. So that's six or seven. I'm gonna call it six. <sighs> Two more. Last one. All right. Now we got one up top. Still gonna go slow, but practicing the same stuff. All while firing the shot. Decent. I know y'all can hear the pings, but let me set the, let me set it up so y'all can see where I'm hitting at. All right, I'm aiming at the center target, the red one, on the right side. 
All right, get back into your mode. Get back in the mode. When I come out that mode, man, setting up the camera. Let's get back to it. Get right. Mm. Sight too high. I'm about to slow it back down. Slow down. quick to come out that mode, man. So what I'm gonna do is, no round in the chamber, weighted magazine. We're gonna do five, just like the beginning with no shot. Get back on target. And then we'll put the rounds in the finish out the mag. Okay. It's that side alignment. Right there, I got two little finger on that trigger. There we go, that feels right. That feels right. Okay, that felt even better. We're gonna roll straight into it. off to the left on that one. Come on now. How many we got left? Seven. I want four out of seven. Not trying to be perfect. We trying to progress. It's all for one. for two. One for three. I'm shooting too high. One for four. One for five. That first shot of mug, boy. I already messed up my uh my score card, but we're gonna finish out, we're gonna finish strong. Two for six. Three for seven. Definitely not mad at that at all. It's all about progression, baby. Now, we got the 19 piece McNugget in there. I'm gonna go for another five, not load it. And we're gonna continue. Just roll right into the shots. I'm no expert, by the way, guys. I don't mean to sound like I am. This is just, I just want to give y'all 
sneak peek into how I'm training right now. I'm trying to get better every day. And I know you guys train doing your dry fires, but I always say you could do your dry fires all day. But there's nothing like actually getting out here to the range and getting your shots in. I'm not saying a dry fire doesn't work, because that's for damn sure what I'm doing right now, but feeling the extra recoil behind your joint, it's different. I don't want you guys to get complacent. I don't want myself to get complacent. That's why I'm out here doing what I'm doing now. Come on, baby. Did I hit it or did I not hit it? Y'all saw the target shake. Maybe I hit the, uh, what's holding up the target. But I wanna be so good at this. I had this thing ingrained in my muscle memory, man. There we go. I gotta slow it down on my sight acquisition. Come on, baby. Mm. Hopefully, the action camera is catching it. On that one right there, my draw was way off. I had too much compensation. Pushing too hard over here with my support hand. Too high. All right, that target is at 15 yards. We're gonna go to the square target in the back, which is at 25. And Hit these. Hit the last ones I got in the magazine. How many do I have left? About the same amount as last time. I think I got a seven piece McNugget. Mmm. The real slow one. There we go. Too high. Breaking up that wrist. That grip back. There we go, baby. I'm gonna go back to 15 real quick. I'm gonna try to hit the bigger one on the left side. Just missed that one. There we go. That support hand been wrong this whole time. But I do have, after this magazine, I do have a few more rounds of nine mil. I'm not trying to shoot everything I have, so I only bring 50 at a time. So I'ma load those back up and we're gonna do transitions kind of like now between the 25 and the 15. Let's finish out this mag real quick. Ooh. And that was it. She didn't lock back on me. But I'm gonna get this mag loaded up and we shall continue. All right. We got a 13 watt left. Uh oh, here we go. Put 
put my pants up. <clears throat> All right, so we're gonna go 25, the big square joint. Then we're gonna go 15, the left side, 25, and then 15, the smaller one on the right. My side alignment still adjusted for the 25 on that one. Well, I remember hit, trying to hit 25 yards was hard. Look at us now. Man. Look at us now. Progression, baby. One more. Then I'm gonna try to hit that tree real quick. I hung up on the draw right there. Let's try to finish off on this tree. I don't know how many I have left. Hopefully it's enough. Maybe we'll finish with that one next time, man. But hey, y'all let me know down in the comment section how y'all like this type style of training right here. I know it's kind of slower than I'm used to doing, honestly. But I actually learned a lot out here today. Hopefully you guys did the same.